here before you get going. I'll tell you in a couple of minutes uh, how we're going to act and behave like Vikings on our Viking raid of the city. First though, a few rules and regulations for your own safety and comfort while you're on board. First things first, the air conditioning is on full. That means we've got no windows. It's very important though that you keep your arms and your heads inside the vessel at all times, please. If you stick your arms or heads out, you might lose them. If you lose them, we're not going back for them. Please stay sitting down in your seats at all times. There's no eating allowed on board and no smoking on our Viking vessel except either. Okay, those are the rules and regulations. Now it's time for the fun part. As I said, we're all Vikings now. And the people that we see around us in the streets, well, they're not Vikings, certainly not. No, they're not Dubliners, they're not tourists. No, they're Celts. And tell me, what are we going to do to the Celts? Any ideas? Oh, I like your style. Off with their heads. Kill a lot of them. Decapitate them. Disembowel them. Unfortunately, though, we get into terrible trouble when we try to kill Celts on the streets of Dublin these days. EU regulations. Instead, what we're going to do to strike the fear of God into their hearts is something called the Viking Roar. Now, it's very important that everybody does the Viking Roar and that everybody does it loudly. If you don't do it or you don't do it loudly enough, you'll have to come up here to the front, stand up here at the front and do it on your own. It's a simple three-stage operation and it goes like this. One, two, and three. One, you put both hands up in the air above your heads. Fist bed, so come on everybody, get your fists in the air. No, when you're driving, you don't know when you're <laughs> Everybody else, get your fists in the air, get them up there, that's it, that's step one. Step two, then you take a deep breath. You make a scary, frightening, threatening Viking face. Let's see a scary, frightening, threatening Viking face. It's very good. Actually, if you like, sorry, you should use your faces. <laughs> <laughs> and then step three, you let fly with a mess of the door. So here we go, folks. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. <laughs> now the people we'll be rolling out are certain not suspecting Celts in the streets around us like these ones here. One, two, three. <laughs> there. Oh, yes. Now, there are some times we never roar, folks. We never roar, for example, when we're stuck at a red light. Why not? Because we tend to look completely ridiculous. We also never roar at the cop counts. They have a nasty habit of rolling back at us. They want to see driving licenses. Sorry, I don't know. This is Lido the driver, by the way. Everybody say, hello, Lido. Yeah. Best driver we have. We just believe in licenses. <laughs> we have to have a tax in order, I think. Good. Now, Along the way, I'm going to be telling you all about Dublin from Viking times to the present day, telling you hopefully interesting little bits of history about the city that surrounds us. Has anyone been on this tour before, by the way? No. No? First time for everyone? Well, what we're going to do first of all is we'll take a little sightseeing trip around the old city. We'll see Viking Dublin and medieval Dublin, and then we'll go along through what's known as Georgian Dublin on our way down to the Grand Canal Docklands. Down at the Grand Canal Docks, we're going to splash down into the water of the Grand Canal Harbour and continue our tour out on the water there. So, are you all looking forward to getting to the water? Yeah. Did you all remember to bring a towel and change socks? <laughs> oh, we're going to have soggy feet on the way back then, aren't we? Oh, not much to do about that, though. No. But I do listen out for my one, two, threes. There's certain sorts of Celts I particularly like rolling up, including the construction Celts, balanced on ladders and scaffoldings high above. Fingers, say your prayers. Let's hope this thing still floats. <laughs> Change your mind. Now we're on the water in a car. Well, folks, welcome along to the water of the Grand Canal Harbour, or the Grand Canal Base, for the water part of the tour. This is an artificial lake. It's dug out to connect up with the river with Grand Canal. Dug out in the late 1700s. Dug out by hand, pick and shovel. Three very hard working individuals. It's 22 feet deep. It's as deep at the sides as it is at the bottom, but it's all tiled on the bottom with granite slabs. <laughs> Thank you. 